Hey everyone, this is Dan aka Dan's music video to his song Runners featuring Dia Frampton, directed by Christopher Yang. Hope you guys enjoy it. Dad, you see my paycheck? I don't know, the mail's up there, hon. You missed Andrea's parent-teacher conference, by the way. It was yesterday. It's kind of important to her that you go. Bring me another beer. What are you doing? I've got that thing this weekend. I'm going out of town to New York. You didn't say anything about going to New York. She's 10 years old. Hey, I know how old she is. She's my yeah. kid. You know what I can get through with this shit that you're pulling, but she's 10. She needs a dad. But what comes after New York? What, are you gonna move there? I don't know. I'm still going to work. I'm paying the bills. What do you want from me? To be a Call dad. you. What about you? What am I gonna do in New York? I have everything here. I have my job. I have my friends. Just go. Go to work. Right now, I can't stay here with you. Yeah, I don't want to have a conversation. You're the one that's walking away. You're embarrassing yourself. Yeah. She said I was gone. It was so right. I was never present when she called me on those nights. I would always regret what would happen in those fights. Feeling so alive to almost nothing that's no life. But it's your own life. And what you come to expect. Relationships are damn it, so you gotta protect. Her moves that you man's they assign to wreck themselves. So wide at once, you can barely connect. But we are on a path with something greater than we know. It's all for the battle, man, versus the fear of the unknown. When the concept of form is a construct is grown. Yeah. Feeling so alive that sometimes life alone. And for me, that line is blurring like each day. Fighting even harder now to hold on to my faith. Barely recognize. And when I'm looking at my face That's the life I've chosen And I'm searching for my place And I'm my pace So much, it's scary. And it's often a soul crush, but varies in extreme. But follow me closely. Yeah. Privilege evokes freedom that most of us don't see. It makes us run off so fast without a clear direction, a purpose. Imperfections, they surface. Yeah. Is it all worth it? Everything we're unearthing. It leaves us with feelings of unknowns and burdens. And I've heard in the voice of most peers around me. They speak resounding, echoing and pounding. Same thing that's been hounding me every day. That the city that we seek is where we have to blame. All I ever wanted was everything. Every moment I wasn't yeah. wanted everything. But ever it wasn't ever, but never wanted everything. But at every moment of all, so instead of anything, I ran away from it all. It's so easy. I want to do it right but how long that takes and now I sleep at night is way too beyond me cause I will end up wandering the fact that I might not find what I'm looking for it's daunting it's haunting as me wanting it even more and most nights I don't know who I do it for but some nights are aces strange sounds and faces towns that escape me and fought off a place and I love it yeah. it's this reason why I'm even fighting of it with every lesson that I've learned there would be nothing great minds have inspired and made me I was tired of it lately but thankfully what I find is making me accept that this thing is coming back cause with each breath I take a new one it tracks lost I am to you I owe it to this Pursue the truth that once proved my seed I once knew when I was young
I sleep at night is way too beyond me because I will end up wandering. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a lot of fun to watch and a lot of fun to see you guys work on it. Um, it's been a little while since we've done a Wong Fu Presents, but in case people aren't familiar, every so often we like to feature work by our friends um, that are done outside of Wong Fu Productions, like our normal crew and normal slate of projects. And Chris did this on the side with Dan, and I'm just really proud of both of you guys for doing this. And um, we, yeah, we just wanted to share it with the Wong Fu audience because we felt that they would enjoy it. So Dan, why don't you tell us a little bit about the song, you know, what the inspiration was for it and what you hope people can get from it. Yeah, the, the biggest thing though is I am so thankful to Chris and the team and to everybody uh, for taking their time because obviously putting together these shoots, it's not easy. Mm. Uh, it's not like a quick process. And so one, like we've been doing this for a little while and I'm just really, really thankful that it's out there. So uh, the song is basically, uh, and the music video is basically about this idea of stability versus freedom. It's something that I think that a lot of us are kind of thinking about whether you're in college, whether you're out of college. And uh, the song and the lyrics is all about this idea of trying to come to a conclusion of what do I want to get out of life? And then realizing at the end of it that there's no way to really take control over that. It's about giving up control to whatever might happen. It's just understanding that you can't control everything. And so that's ultimately what the song is about. Yeah, the, um, the lyrics are very fast, so be sure to <laughs> read the, Ooh. we'll put the links in the, uh, the description below. Yeah, you, you rap very fast. Dia was amazing too. How did that come about that? God, yeah, uh, Dia's amazing. Um, Dia's been in some other videos that you guys have worked yeah. on. So like one, she's a great actress. Yeah. But um, the way that we originally got to know her is through music. Mm -hmm. And uh, she's always been one of my favorite singer songwriters and luckily I was just able to meet her through the community and uh, she agreed to come on to the song awesome. also big shout out to Tyler Carroll as well as uh, Travis Atreyu who are yeah. the ones that write and produce the track too yeah and so it kind of just all came together really organically the community so Chris uh, why don't you take us a little bit through you know just how, how did it all come about first uh, or like why did you want to do this I guess uh, I wanted to do it because it was it was different from something I'm used to doing mm -hmm. um, and Benson who's the producer on this music video um, we, we both worked on a concept to translate this whole dichotomy between stability and freedom and trying to make it a relatable experience um, for like young, young adults. Yeah, I realized actually that maybe a lot of people haven't even seen you before, but if, in case you guys didn't know, Chris is a huge part of the Wong Fu team. Um, he's an editor uh, and also cinematographer here at Wong Fu Productions. He edits like basically half of all the lunch breaks that you see uh, on the second channel. And then with all, a lot of our recent projects, he's the one behind the camera. So um, it was really cool to see you kind of step outside of that role mm. and, um, and take on uh, the directing yeah. seat. So what, was, were there, what were some of the challenges maybe that you felt? Because I, I mean, it, it is a little different yeah, being yeah, in that yeah. role, right? Um, I'd say like the challenges was like being resourceful and um, working on a very tight schedule and like trying to shoot and convey as much as possible in, in like a very set and very uh, tight schedule. I right. think that was probably the biggest challenge. And then obviously like working with Dan was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, most important. <laughs> but it, it was cool because I've seen Chris behind the scenes too in um, again more of the editing or the, the cinematography yeah. where he's a little bit, um, he's in the zone on that. So mm -hmm. it was really cool watching Chris and then Benson also be more in control of the mm. shoot and be more in a directorial kind mm. of mode. And so Dan, I guess, um, you know, just to close things out, where can they find this song and more of your music? Yeah, again, I'm just I'm incredibly thankful that this was able to be the kickoff for everything. And so uh, the album's officially out now. It's called Escape from L.A. It's got that song along with seven other tracks on it. It's streaming now on everything. So oh, Apple, nice. uh, the, the, the Spotify's the um, uh, whatever else has streaming <laughs> capabilities. And uh, you can find it, just look up Dan AKA Dan on whatever. Dan AKA Dan. What do you have against LA, man? Why are you trying to get out of here? No, Escape from <laughs> LA is actually, it's a very positive oh. commentary about LA. Okay. And the, there's a lot of good things about LA. Yeah. There's a lot of great things, but there's also a lot of things that I think hold us back. Mm -hmm. And it's about trying to just get out of that, that LA mentality right. to enjoy LA. All mm -hmm. right, well, congratulations, man. Always been a big supporter of, of your art and also your support for us and the community as a whole. Dan is a, he's a, he's an artist and a musician rapper, but he's also a huge piece to a, a lot of people's work that you might already be fans of um, in the Asian American um, art and entertainment community. So thanks Dan, congratulations Chris. Be sure to follow Dan, links below, listen to more of his music, and we'll see you on the next Wong Fu Presents.
Later.